Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Well, today we're out here about to mow the lawn. I'm going to give you a rundown on how to operate your yard machine by MTD. So there's not much more information I have on it other than my manual, which we'll kind of be going off of here. Model Series 760 to 770 lawn tractor. Before you do anything, you're going to want to have all your personal protective equipment available, your ear protection, you definitely want some eye protection when mowing, any kind of lawn mower, you want to wear safety glasses, you never know what's going to fly up and hit you. And a pair of gloves, and you always want to be wearing shoes, I got the steel toed shoes, but as long as it's not sandals and uh, not barefoot. So let's do a walk around, show you some of what's going on here. There's the key for your ignition. Over here you've got your choke and your throttle. And I will show you all of this in motion after I give you a rundown here. Here's your speed controls over here. Got six speed settings. Normally I'm not going any higher than three really don't want to go too fast on this thing or be going crazy on it you need to keep it at a slow speed this uh, machine can tip over pretty easily on a slope and I'll go over the slope with you later actually it's a 15 degree slope you don't want to go on any more than that but I'll show you how you can figure that out right here is your brake slash clutch so that will stop the machine Try not to use your brake too often. If you keep it in a slower speed, one or two, you won't really need to use your brake too much. The brake actually loosens the belt and brings the yard machine to a stop. So the less you use that, the less wear and tear on your belt. And over here, which this should be in neutral when I have it in its parking brake. Sorry about that. You got forward, neutral, and reverse. Of course, this is where you sit. This slides back and forth. And if you lift this up, here's where your battery is. You can charge your battery if you need to. Over the winter, the battery might go low. And these coils right here actually act as a connector. So when you sit down, it'll connect. And as soon as you stand up, the engine will stop so there has to be a person on here for the engine to keep running so keep that in mind if you're mowing and you want to pop up and get something out of the yard the yard machine will turn off on its own all right now I'm going to show you how to start the yard machine this might get a little loud once I get it started so be aware of that Get ready to turn your volume down. All right, we're just gonna sit in here, get comfortable. Got my foot on the brake here, the clutch. And then you're gonna wanna have this set to choke up here. Uh, when it's set to choke, as soon as it turns over, you're gonna need to pull it down, keep your foot on the brake and make sure it's in neutral. That way you won't go anywhere. All right, let's turn the key and get it started. We've got the parking brake set, put on the brake. We're gonna turn this and at the same motion, we'll be moving the throttle down, downwards to keep the motor started.
turn off on its own. Turn the key to stop. Foot still on the brake. Park. Neutral. All right, let me show you a couple other things. Okay, in the rundown, I think I failed to mention the uh, blade engage here. So I keep it on four or five because if you're going through tall grass, you never know what's going to be underneath there. You want to make really aware yourself aware of what's in your yard because if you hit a stump or something, you will end up replacing this blade. So make sure you got it on a higher setting here. Four and five work. I, I keep it on four. And then this will engage the blade. You see how I run it for a minute, make sure the engine's warmed up, and then I drop the blade just like that as I'm driving. And that's that part. So you saw as I was turning the key, I was moving this slowly down to get the engine to turn over. You'll just have to fiddle with that until you get it right. It's, uh, Lift this up here. Pretty easy to get to your gas can. This engine gets extremely hot. You mean to make sure that there's no children around at all within like 75, 100 feet while you're mowing, while this thing's cooling down. After you're done mowing, it's extremely hot to the touch. Like I said, here's your gas can. Oil right here. Okay, that's your basic operation. I hope that helps you out, but I want to go over a couple of points in the operator's manual for safety here, if anyone's interested in keeping themselves safe. Uh, I kind of went over this about the children already. And in your yard, thoroughly inspect the area where equipment is used, remove all sticks, stones, bones, toys, other foreign objects. Uh, yeah, that's why you're going to definitely want to wear your safety glasses. Plan your mowing pattern to avoid discharge of material towards roads, sidewalks, bystanders, and the like. So don't be flinging the stuff everywhere into the road, and don't do it against a don't discharge against a wall because stuff could bounce back and hit you. There's the uh, wear your safety glasses, wear your sturdy shoes, no sandals or bare feet, and definitely be aware of the discharge direction where you're shooting your debris. Okay. Because that's one of the main hazards. Next page here. A couple more things I wanted to get across to people. Stop the blade when crossing gravel drive. So when you go across the gravel drive. Or you're going across the road or something. You don't want your fan blade engaged. So once you get close to the road. You'll have your fan blade down here. Just pull it back. And it will lift the blade up. And you can travel across the road. You won't be kicking up gravel and everything like that. Let's see. Obviously, don't do any alcohol or drugs. Mow in the daylight. Never carry passengers. This is an important one here. Uh, it's a one-person ride. Not meant to put your kids on here. And they're not supposed to use this until they're 14 years old, at least where I'm at. And slow down before turning. Operate the machine smoothly. Avoid erratic operation, okay? This thing can definitely tip over. If you go on a slope, that's uh, more than 15 degrees. And it says here, mow up and down slopes, not across. Exercise extreme caution when changing direction on slopes. Seriously, this thing can tip over. And there's a chart in here, which will show you how to determine a 15 degree slope here. So it says to sight and hold the level with a vertical or tree or the corner of a building and fold along the dotted line which represents a 15 degree slope. So the way I figured this to work, I've got a slope down here and you can see I only go to about the corner here before I have to turn off. It's pretty close to 15 degrees I think. So we'll take the paper and we'll line it up with the tree here. 
and that represents your slope and that's just about I'd say this is like a 13 14 degree slope right here you don't want to be mowing much more than that take it very easy on these curves and if there's drop-offs in your yard don't get anywhere near the drop off stay away from it use your weed whacker to get those areas no need to be tipping it over well I think that's about it for a basic rundown there's plenty more reading material in the manual which you should go through and perform regular maintenance on your machine but I'm not going to get into all that just make sure to drive slowly keep the kids away wear all your safety equipment and you should be good to go hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped you guys out uh, subscribe for more and have fun mowing